Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna do my brow routine. So I basically posted a picture of my new hair and everybody went crazy for the hair, but and the brows as well. I'm going first in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Pumper. Absolutely love this stuff, it's amazing. You've probably seen me use it in every single one of my tutorials, but I just wanted to do an in-depth brow tutorial. So once you've got those bad boys brushed up, I'm going to go in with these NYX Micro Brow Pencils and these are my favourite, most affordable ones. So from the tip of the brow to the arch needs to be a straight line across and then once you get to your arch you can curve it along. Then with your little spoolie friend you're just going to brush down through all those hairs and you're going to make sure that you're brushing them up and basically what this is going to do is it's going to soften up that line and it's also going to brush the product up through your hairs. Any extra product that might be needed you're going to go in with the tip of the brow pencil again and just do soft wispy motions and you're just going to literally kind of feather in a little bit of hair into the brows so you're basically just going to fill in any of the spots so especially working at the front i'm going to do loads of wispy motions but instead of following the hair growth to the side i'm following it up towards the ceiling and then once you're super confident in doing it you're just going to fly on through the next brow simple and then with my tart shape shape i'm going to go into my brow and i'm basically going to carve the shoot out of this brow so I'm going to take it really slow and I'm going to slowly work up in like kind of like cutting motions back and forth, windshield wipers, whatever you want to call them. And um, we're just going to really cut into that brow and we're going to take this slow. Like honestly, the slower, the better. I mean, you can slow this down, put on some slow music and you can just chill out and you know, you can just get on in there with your carve. And then once you have carved that out, you're just going to pat it down. Bring that down along your um, your lids and basically this tart stuff just works. It's like a great lid primer, eyeshadow primer. It's just great all right. And this is my new favorite. I absolutely love using this. And then we're gonna give ourselves a little concealer uni brow. So you're not going to use your Tarte concealer as a concealer, you're going to use it as an eyeshadow primer. So like I said, I use this all over the lid, instead of select cover up from MAC, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. And again, you're just patting it all over the lid and this just works as like a beautiful base for your eyeshadows. Last but not least, and I'm going to go in with this coloured, this is like purple, I don't know, it's from Wet n Wild. Um, you can just use any mascara, but I just kind of thought this would be cool with my purple hair, but like you don't have to use this one and you can't really see the purple. It's just to like brush up the hairs and darken them and thicken them. And then when you're done, just take your selfies, have a lollipop and then do the rest of your makeup routine, I suppose. So get ready for a time lapse. And that's it for the brow routine. If you want to see any more videos or if you have any video requests, then just let me know in the description box below. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media.